Dear students, welcome to a very interesting as usual of one of the agrometrological tools and services. It is, it is the topic which we are going to discuss comes both under the tools and service. So what is it? The length of the growing period. So by definition, according to FAO, the length of the growing period is the period in days, the period in days uh, during the year when the average temperatures are greater than or equal to 5 degrees centigrade when the average temperatures are greater than or equal to 5 degrees centigrade and precipitation plus moisture stored in the soil exceed at least half of the potential evapotranspiration so this is uh, now here so how we calculate the uh, length of growing period if you see start of the rainy period okay start of the rainy period end of the rainy period, start of the rainy period, end of the rainy period. Now, end of the growing season, there is a difference between the end of the uh, rainy period and end of the growing period because crop growth depends on soil moisture here. So that's why in the definition last part, precipitation plus, this is the precipitation plus uh, soil moisture stored in the soil, okay, exceeds uh, half of the PET, at least half of the PET. Now, see, <coughs> this is the potential PET, this is the half of the PET, potential PET, half of the PET, humid period. What is the humid period? I tell you after half minute. Now, so as far as uh, the parameters that are required for uh, any uh, uh, estimation or calculation of the growing period are precipitation, or soil moisture status, wherever it is possible, of course, temperature, temperature, precipitation, soil moisture, wherever it is available, other meteorological data, and, and, and finally, the water requirements of specific crops in that region, these are all the parameters that are required. Now, so let us see what are the characteristics of the uh, length of growing period, what are the characteristics of the length of the growing period. So here, I would like to uh, just uh, give you a brief account of the characteristics here. For the growing period, as I said, there is a beginning period, there is a humid period, there is an end of growing period. See, beginning period, this is the beginning period, there is a humid period and end of the growing period. These are the basic characteristics of the uh, length of growing season. Now, let us see what are the types of growing period. Once we know the growing period, once we estimate the growing period, how we estimate the growing period? Beginning of the rainy season, at the beginning of the crop period otherwise. End of the grow, end of the rainy season, after the end of the rainy season, we get the uh, end of the growing period. Okay? So, now, what are the different types of growing periods? Number one, intermediate growing period. Year round growing period, year round drought pe dry period. Again, I will tell you intermediate growing period, year round growing period, year round drought period. What exactly does it mean? Of course, the as I said, the beginning, the humid, the end of the rainy, uh, end of the uh, growing season in the previous uh, 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 this thing, the beginning of the growing period. This coincides with the start of the normal rainy season and is taken as the date when precipitation equals half of the PET. What are the humid period? Second one is the humid period. Precipitation exceeds PET. And end to the growing period, precipitation curve crosses half of the PET. Precipitation curve crosses the half of PET. So now, so what are the okay types of uh, uh, growing period? Number one. Intermediate growing period. What does it mean? Intermediate growing period is throughout the year, the average monthly precipitation does not exceed the full rate of the average monthly PET. That means of the, out of the 12 months, okay, all the months never, never and never cross the actual PET. What is the year round growing period? Here, the average monthly precipitation for every month of the year exceeds the full rate of average monthly PET every month. 
every month precipitation is more p it is less in the previous case uh, the intermediate going point what is the thing throughout the year the average monthly precipitation does not exceed the pet pet is always lesser than that's what we call it as the intermediate in the year round going period pet precipitation is much more than the uh, uh, precipitation is much more than the pet now so year round dry period what exactly does it mean the average monthly precipitation for every month of the year is lower 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 than the at least half of the monthly pet so during this period uh, month of the uh, potential of transpiration uh, always less in the during the uh, year round drought period this is the thing so what are the uses of uh, uh, length of growing period this is very very interesting why we should study for calculating the agriculture potential of the region criteria for classifying the crop production areas for uh, uh, determining the crop cycle length for uh, planners use so first uh, for calculate the aggregate potential of the region second one the criteria for classifying the production areas in which area what is the production time how much time we can grow for any crop so the finally planners get their excellent idea so i would like to impress upon you that the length of the growing period calculation of length of the growing period as i said in the beginning the calculation of uh, the length of the growing period is uh, well, very very interesting it's a very very interesting we take first precipitation then we take uh, the temperature then we take uh, the soil moisture so after taking these things we analyze it now when we should sow the crop in other words we call it as the crop sowing window okay uh, date of sowing in agronomic terms crop sowing window is the latest term so based on the calc by calculating the length of the growing period we can estimate which crop can be grown which area how much of the length period is available okay for any particular crop to be grown in that area so this is what i would like to tell you may god bless you all the very best for your patient hearing